What's going on? Hope you're having a great day. I'm Rich Demuro with CNET TV in New York City, and this is The Q. And unlike your fascination with celebrity gossip, this is one habit you don't have to hide. Let's get you started with your must-see moment. The world's largest cruise ship making its maiden voyage. Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas is three and a half football fields long, with room for 5,700 people. Liberty is taller than the Eiffel Tower. Onboard amenities include a rock climbing wall, surf park, ice rink, and whirlpools that extend over the side of the ship. Now I thought Queen Mary 2 was the biggest. Apparently she is as ocean liner, but not as cruise ship. Moving through the queue, American Airlines, in an effort to expand in-flight entertainment options without a lot of work, is turning to portable media players. Sort of like an iPod you'd borrow from a friend, but with a bigger screen. The device comes preloaded with several movies, TV shows, CDs, and music playlists. First class cross-country flights will also get Bose QuietComfort 3 noise-canceling headphones, but unlike those two-buck cheapies, you can't take them with you. The player's on a trial run, but could get frequent flyer status if successful. Digital downloads, legal or otherwise, continue to cut into physical CD sales, but those of us who do buy the real thing often shop for them on the internet. Which brings us to your quick quiz. What percentage of Americans have purchased a CD in the past six months? Is it 30%, 50%, 70%, or 80%? If you said 50%, you're right. According to research from Ipsos, that number is down 15% since 2002. Still, for new releases from a favorite artist, physical CDs remain the top choice. Now, as you might expect, teens own the fewest CDs, an average of 32, while us 18 to 54 year olds have upwards of 100 in our collections. Just as web video starts to snuggle up to the growing flash standard, Microsoft thinks it's time for an HD-like upgrade. Now Silverlight is available as a download so you can see for yourself. Several showcase sites let you try out the new beta technology. Silverlight is a cross-browser, cross-platform plugin that scales from mobile to HD video. Downloading the plugin is quick and painless, and the video quality, not bad. Finally, go scratch yourself, and possibly win some cash and prizes. <laughs> A scratch-off making website lets you create the ticket. Upload a picture, tweak the design, then share your scratcher by embedding it on your blog or profile page. Friends and visitors can scratch to win. If they do, you get the same prize. At least that's the idea. So far, the second part of the equation not exactly live until sponsors sign on. But there is a chance to win some cash. And no messy scratch-off residue either. Just don't let me see you using a quarter on your computer screen. Now that you're in the queue, why not get your friends in too? Don't keep us a secret. I'm Rich Samiro with CNET TV in New York City. Don't say I didn't tell you so.